Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm your trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of GBP USD, British Pound US dollar for 6 April 2021. So this analysis is for 6 April only. You'll see me tomorrow again with the analysis for the 7th April. Yes, I bring videos on daily basis and in advance so that you do not make any silly mistake and you get to stay ahead of the market. <laughs> so please do subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're watching my videos for the first time. And do check out the Forex analysis playlist for the analysis of other currency pairs. So let's get started. So, uh, mm, market is trading at 1.3896. Yes, this is the current market price. And as you can see right now, market is in uptrend. Okay, market is in uptrend. And the beautiful thing is that market made it low here, took support, then market went up. Okay, market went up came down market did not break the previous low rather market made a higher low went up okay came down again made a higher low higher low okay so see if you just consider this portion of the market okay then we can easily tell that yes market is trying its best or giving its best shot to go up and yes market is an uptrend right now Market is an uptrend and there is no doubt about it. And this is the overall chart of GBP USD for the last two months. And you can see that market went up. Okay, then from this particular point, market fell. And after that, yeah, market didn't go up, but market had no particular trend it was not a trending market it was going up down up down it was good for uh swing traders okay but not for uh not for uh investors of teha or those who are looking for trending market okay so there was no such proper trend present in the market okay. but one thing is sure that this level is good for a market because see when market fell big time okay when market fell big time from this particular level from market fell almost by for 300 400 pips this is the level okay this is the level that provided the support to the market okay and we can see that this support is still a virgin support for the market okay b as virgin support for the market and this is the weekly chart you all know uh, pretty well that recently I have also uh, started showing you the, the weekly chart because uh, multi time uh, multi time frame analysis is very important to have a proper picture to get a, a more clean picture of the market so that your accuracy is much much high. Okay, therefore in the weekly chart we can see that uh, last week market took support at uh, market took support at this level. Okay, then. Um, before that also market took support which means that for the past two weeks market has formed a hammer kind of a pattern hammer kind of a pattern generally suggests that sellers took the price down but bulls did not like the price and they pushed the price all the way up as a result for the past two weeks market tried to close below this support level but market failed and as a result market succeeded in closing above this support so this is a valid support for the market there is no doubt about it okay so whenever we get to see a pattern like this we can easily <clears throat> come to the conclusion that market will be bullish now and this is the reaction okay this is the reaction of the past two weeks hammer pattern okay therefore this level is extremely important okay this level is extremely important so one thing is clear to us that the uh, market has got support in the weekly chart okay therefore it will be very foolish of us if you if we uh, short the market okay so therefore looking at the uh, looking at the price rejection from below for the last two weeks what should be our strategy then our strategy is simple we should only be looking for buying opportunity okay so if see right now you should not go ahead and buy right away because see if you buy right here okay, your stop loss will be somewhere around here 
and this is your take profit target because see this market has got resistance here okay so this is your take profit target your risk to reward ratio does not match so this is not your ideal entry okay uh, if you're finding it hard then just try to understand my words okay <laughs> because see many things have happened in gbp usd <laughs> okay just try to understand my words if you enter here your risk to reward ratio does not match it is against the discipline so just avoid your entry right now and as you can see market is also in the overbought zone so what you should do you should just wait for the market to come down okay wait for the market to come down and ju just keep your eyes on the stochastic rsi when stochastic rsi will be in the oversold zone okay then just look at the position of the price if you see that price is taking support at this level this level okay then you can go for a buy okay again i'm telling just look at uh, just look at the position of stochastic rsi if you see that stochastic rsi is in oversold zone or when stochastic rsi will be in oversold zone because this is an oscillating indicator eventually it will come to the oversold zone so when stochastic rsi will be in oversold zone just look at the position of the price if you see the stochastic rsi is about to go up ready to go up again and price is taking support at this level at this particular level you can go for a buy here in case it is taking support at this level also you can go for a buy 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 but it should take support at some level okay it should take support or on the other hand if it goes up also okay then there is a chance that it will face resistance at this level okay so if you enter here or if you enter here or if you enter just about a 50 moving average okay this will be your first target okay this will be your first target and this will be your second target your second target is very important okay your second target is very important i would like to show you 1.4000 okay 1.4000 is a very important level for you because if you enter here 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 okay whatever whatever you enter just do remember that market has got extreme support at 1.4000 level okay it is if you see here then you can see that yes four hours chart is also telling us that yes market has got crucial resistance okay and the weekly chart is also telling us the same story just look at these candles okay just look at these three candles okay for three consecutive weeks for three consecutive weeks market tried to cross 1.4000 level but market failed which means that there are some players or there is a player sitting at 1.4000 level who is not allowing the market to go up therefore when you'll be going long this will be your target okay you just come out by this this will be your target target 2 and this will be your target 1 and your entry will be here or here okay so just wait for the stochastic rsi uh, to come to the oversold zone and go up because right now if you enter here your risk to reward ratio does not match okay so this is the analysis and current picture of gpp usd hopefully you have understood and if you have liked the video and found the video informative please give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis thank you so much all the best take care see you tomorrow again and do subscribe